Guys, time is the only resource that we can't get more of. And I want to commit as much time as possible to putting out content that helps more people just like you. The only way that I can do that is if you like, comment, and subscribe to this video. Please give me feedback and help me help you. Any other brain busters? Can you read that one? Myra, okay. Current client PDP is leaving. Wait, PCP is leaving the MAPD they're currently on. Looked at other plan options and no other MAPD has the rest of their doctors need to tell the client and offer solutions. Okay, here's what I'd say. I'd say, Jane, well, we've looked at all these other Medicare Advantage plans that are out there, and unfortunately, the rest of them are going to have specialist issues with you, and my recommendation is going to be to keep the plan that you have. I'm assuming I wrote that plan, too, uh, in this is to keep the plan you have and us just change your primary care doctor or you could just pay an out-of-pocket out of copay at that primary care doctor. Uh, and is, is it an HMO? Is this an HMO? It doesn't say. It doesn't well, if it's a PPO, I would just tell her what the out-of-network copay is and just get by it that way. Um, if, it's a, if it's an HMO um, and they can't go out of network, I'd say, well, you could just pay at cost if you're, if you're bound and determined to go to that primary care provider. But I'm not sure you know, what their reasoning for leaving the network was. But I would recommend you, um, you know, going to a different primary care provider until they work it out with the network. I mean, that's what I'd say. Um, if, I, if they weren't my client and I was trying to change them to another one, I'd find the other one with the best network and say, this is going to be the best one, but it's not going to cover your ex specialist, uh, but it's got 15 other specialists in that field and in, in the town that are in there and try to get them to change the doctor. Because basically, you, what you're, what you, the scenario you're giving me is there's no good fit. And I don't know if I can take her off the advantage plan and put her back on a supplement in this. Um, but I would that's also an option where I could say, well, and that's Nolan, hard to do. No one says go lasso. No, I wouldn't go lasso. I'm not just coming here. I wouldn't I wouldn't do that. Um, I wouldn't necessarily do that. Not just because of that. I would really try to make it a you're gonna have to shop your doctor issue. And the more that we make it a shop your doctor issue, the more these doctors will be kind of have their hand forced to begin to accept more and more networks. If we make it just change your insurance every time your doctor says they're not going to be in a network, the doctors will just flip and flop all the time because they are they don't care. They're just trying to get the highest reimbursement or have the least issues with billing. And we get that. Um, I get that from their perspective. If I was them, I'm not saying I wouldn't do the same thing. But you, we have to train them over time in masses by telling by explaining to the client that, um, and not in a disparaging way, I don't want to tell them like, your doctor's an idiot. I don't know why they wouldn't take it, they're dork. You need to go to another doctor. Never gonna do that. I'm gonna talk really highly about it. Man, I, I hate that, you know, Dr. Jones is, I hear is a great doctor. I'm not sure what their issues are. We'll probably reach out to the clinic and see if we can figure out, you know, why they're not in the network. Uh, but in the meantime, my recommendation is gonna be for us to use a different primary care doctor. Now I have a few recommendations, you know, based on the thousands of clients we've helped of who are the best primary care doctors in town that do accept this. Uh, can I make a recommendation there? And, and just pivot that way. Because I'm, I, I don't, you know, in, in like, with that scenario, like I don't know what else I can do for them. Like I can't make the plan take, you know, have, I can't make the doctor take the plan necessarily. Um, so that's, it would just be problem solving, but I got to put it back on the network and having them, you know, be open to utilizing different doctors and specialists. And most people are, once you start talking to them about it. I'll say things like, now, are you married to that doctor? And they'll be like, what do you mean? And I'll be like, well, like, you know, I mean, if that was going to cost you five times as much to use that doctor, no matter what you did, would you still go to them? And people are like, well, no, I got to keep it in my budget. Then you know how close they are to the doctor. If you just say, can I change you to another doctor? They're like, well, why would I do that? You have to like, you have to create context. We were talking the other day. Like, we're trying to figure out if Rob would steal an apple to feed his family. Apparently not. He doesn't love his family. But, um, but you got to create context. <laughs>